Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to turn these uh, heated grips on. <laughs> Keep the old pinkies warm. Uh, a little bit chilly today. Main purpose of the video today is to discuss whether this would make a, um, an all-round good commuter bike. Uh, if you wanted to ride the bike to work or we'll, we'll, we'll have a little discussion about it. First thing I will say, in my years ownership of uh, owning this machine, this lovely machine, the Triumph 765 Street Triple RS, is that if you're going to go on longer journeys, you know, single carriageway, dual carriageways or whatever, you know, where, you, where you're going to be sort of sitting at 60, 60 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour, what, what bothers me, that might not bother everybody, but the wind, you obviously you've got, it's a naked bike, so you've got no protection from the wind, uh, and it does become a bit annoying. Obviously, you know, I didn't buy the bike myself to commute on, but the discussion is whether you could use it as a commuter bike. And the answer to that is, yeah, of course you can. It's not a spoiler alert, but we'll go through, you know, some of the reasons, the main reasons why I think personally. Well, uh, we'll go this way, actually. You know, she, she's very easy to ride. Nice and easy, or well, better get in the right lane. <laughs> They've just redone this roundabout, so uh, a little bit confusing that. <laughs> uh, it went down from two lanes to three lanes uh, on that roundabout there. Anyway, never mind. But yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, the bike is overall, it's good on fuel, it's cheap to run, it's actually cheap to insure. Well, for me, anyway, being an oldie, well, not that old, but sometimes I feel old in the mornings. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, we'll see what she's like in traffic in a minute. We'll do a bit of filtering. Hello, sir. Uh, I'll do a bit of filtering. She's very comfortable. I've just got the heated grips on as well. I put them on myself. There is another video on the channel about them. I'm talking about them. I'll put the link up here or here, wherever it is. Um, right, coming into a bit of traffic now, so that's what it's all about. Oh, nice to go, go straight through the green light. But yeah, you know, you're sitting in a nice upright position here, looking over the top of the car, so you're nice and high up. Sitting upright, not like on a, on a sport bike where you're leant forward and, you know, obviously they're not the best uh, design of, of bike for, for commuting, but... Very comfortable bike, this one. Very comfortable on the old Jaxi. No issues there. I mean, obviously this is just a sort of kind of a short ride out today on the bike. Um, yeah, and my, my sort of views on the bike, I've had it, like I say, I've had it over a year now and very, very comfortable. Hello, sir. No nod from the biker, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I'm more than happy myself with this. We'll take a left here, actually, see if there's any... You know, free time, we'll go free time. It's not, it's good at low speeds. I'm in sport mode at the moment. So, not noticing any real snatchier. That sna the, the throttle's nice and smooth. You've got that, that ride-by-wire uh, throttle. So, go on, sir. Over you go. <laughs> no problem. What a cheery chap. There you go, sir. <laughs> So yeah, there's, there's no uh, snatchiness of the throttle. Like I say, I always generally keep it in sport. Uh, the roads are dry today anyway, so take a left here. Put a few people about, actually. Sounds nice as well. But yeah, you can tone it down. You could put it in one of the many rider modes of this bike. I think it's got five. Put it in uh, rain or road. But personally, I think, I think it's absolutely fine in sport. You know, if you've got one, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, oh, fumes coming out of that taxi there. Yeah, let me know what you think. Those gri grips are warming up lovely there as well. But yeah, like I say, you could, uh, you know, winter time, you want to keep your hands warm, get the old heated grips. I'd I highly recommend those. And uh, keep the old pinkies warm. I'll take the left here. But yeah, this is good at low speed. No issues at low speed. Very good on fuel. Better turn that indicator off. It's got self-cancelling indicators on this bike as well. You can disable those if you want to. There's a few settings uh, actually for those. So you can change those to, to 
you know, to have a few different options with that. Um, the, the, the display there is nice and clear as well. No issues with the display. It's gone. It's actually gone into night mode there. I think it's because it's a bit overcast. It kind of like doesn't quite know what to do. But oh, we're running, we're going along the the delights of Yarmouth seafront. Very quiet today. Yeah, the, but the bike the bike actually has got the Pirelli Super Corsa tyres on as well. So you got confidence in the tyres. Yeah, you know, I've had no issues. I've had a few issues maybe when the when it's been damp. Uh, the, you get a bit of rear slippage uh, from the rear tyre there, but it's probably me giving it too much beans on the old on the gas. <laughs> but it's all good fun. Lighting as well. I know it's light now, but there's no issues with the lights on this bike. They're very good. They're LED lights all round on here. So uh, there isn't a lot of say again. There's there's other, another video on the channel if you're interest, interested in that where I go out on the bike at night and you know because obviously when sometimes you might ride this bike to work, knock off work, it's dark or leave early in the morning. So you need good lights. It's important. Uh, and yeah, and there's no issues with the lighting at all. Nothing. Very bright. Very decent. Servicing costs as well. We'll talk about them. Uh, this is now, this is now, it's had its first service, it generally gets its first service after, I can't remember what it was now, whether it was, it might have been 600 mile, I think it was 600 mile or 800 mile, can't remember. Take a left here, no much, and uh, I think the, the cost of the servicing was pretty, pretty good really to be honest, so there was no issues with that. Uh, the second, the second uh, service is due now. Actually, well, they say actually, tw uh, I think it's six thousand miles or the first or year, twelve monthly. But I haven't done many miles in the first year, so I'm inclined to sort of hang on with that one a little bit. I think I've done about two, just over two thousand miles. So yeah. <laughs> No real issues there. I've had no issues with the bike at all. Nothing. Not that I can remember anyway. I think uh, when I first bought the bike, uh, when I was sort of kind of running the bike in, the brakes were a bit squeaky. But they seem to have sort of sorted themselves out now. So I can't really moan about them. Uh, I do I do generally check the, uh, the tyre pressures regular as well. Just the daily, daily levels and uh, the oil. Things like that before most rides, not every ride, but most rides. And I've never had to put any oil in. The, le the levels been absolutely fine from from uh, yeah, you know the when they when they've done the service. But I did buy some oil, just some top up oil. Um, let me know in the comments if you had to, you know, if you had any faults or any issues with uh, with anything. I'd be interested interested to know. But yeah, this is so easy to ride. You just jump on and there's no issues at all. It's, it's lovely through traffic. You can filter on it. I don't know if we're going to get the opportunity today. We might do. But it's very light. There's no issues with the weight of the bike. Uh, you know, I'm going nice and slow here. Have a look down here. I'm going nice and slow. <coughs> and I'll say the, 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 the throttle is just it's just spot on the fueling of the bike not like my sport bike my old sport bike you go over a bump in the road and it sort of <laughs> yeah the old wrist um, twitches and but yeah i mean i'm doing 10 mile an hour here i think we go around this way they seem to change the road layer every time i come down here but i'm doing like 10 10 mile an hour 15 mile an hour here i mean in first gear nice and smooth Absolutely fine, no issues at all. I'm on the original tyres as well. Like I said, I've done 2,000 mile, and I do. I generally, I mean, I'm riding it nice and easy now. But I don't know if you are new to the channel and you've watched some of the other videos. Sometimes I do. <laughs> I do to kind of give it the beans <laughs> quite a lot, really. So I don't give it a hard life, but I, I use the power of this bike. 
and if you haven't rode one I'd highly recommend you getting, getting your ass out to uh, to your, your dealers your Triumph dealers stay there you, you know and get get out get a grab of the test ride you'll love it I certainly well I ended up buying one <laughs> and I, if you're new to the channel uh, yeah like I say I do test ride review many bikes uh, I'll try and get as many in as I can uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button hit the old uh, notification bell if you like the video give the video a thumbs up it helps the channel uh, yeah so but yeah you know I, I have like I say I test rode this bike and, and it was good all around for what I wanted so can't really grumble at all uh, what I was going to tell you about the machine suspension settings I let I, I generally don't really tinker with the suspension I generally don't bother I've not been on the track with this bike so this is you know we're now going through quite quite uh, hefty traffic here to get past that lorry actually so uh, no issues absolutely brilliant you know you can get yourself through no problems um, where are you going? Cool. thought you were going to go up the curb then <laughs> it's got loads of different uh, you can change the display on that on that uh, TFT as well you can change that to uh, different styles and I tend to leave it like that and you can see your speed quite clearly uh, you know your fuel gauge your temperature gauge generally commuting I generally a lot so I don't use it to commute to work or anything but the the temperature gauge generally normal running is sort of halfway the halfway point you can see it's come up just above the halfway point there if you can see that there you can see the heated grips are on there with a the red you can actually change them there's got three different modes for the different heat settings but that's I, I like to leave them on full power even if it's you know when they're on and that uh very easy the, the, the button cluster is very easy to minute work your way around as well don't really tend to have to mess with any any of that while you're riding but yeah so i don't, I don't generally have to mess with any of those so yeah uh overall very very happy there's loads of uh, uh, optional extras as well it's getting a bit windy now loads of optional extras so you can spec the bike out if you go on the website you can you can look and uh, customize the the bike accessories you can tailor these to, to your to your own desire really that's what most owners do i think most of the owners or you know the customers for triumph they actually oh yeah this is a pleasure to ride this bike they spec the bike out to their own uh, you know to their own sort of desires really a lot of police about today as well here we go take a right here indicator off just absolutely you know just makes its way through no no problem and that's what I like about the motorcycling you know you, you you can jump on and you've got the freedom of the bike it's generally you make progress when there's traffic queues and uh, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's just good it's easy thanks sir people move out your way normally you can generally get through anyway but uh, just nice to make progress isn't it especially when you've had a I don't know you might have had a busy day at work and you want to get home but you keep to the speed limit and uh, it's just effortless really effortless but so I've had I've had no no uh, no issues with the bike it's been very reliable quick shifter and auto flip I don't tend to use it personally at low speeds it's not really good for the gearbox to be honest so I only really tend, I don't, I don't, in fact I don't actually use it that much unless I'm really giving it the beans but like round town and that I won't, I won't use it, I'll just use the clutch in the in the usual way yeah, in the old in the old traditional way really this is the, uh, this has got the blipper as well for the downshifts 
but again, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be inclined to use that at, at uh, low speeds anyway. No, just just uh, in the normal way. But yeah, this is brilliant on on fuel as well. I don't actually know the the figures off the top of my head for the MPG. Maybe I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, you know, it's in the MPG. But they're, they, yeah, you can't really moan at all. Make sure he can see me in his mirror. Yeah, it's just very easy to ride, and you've got confidence in the tyres. Um, they they're not they're not like brilliant in the wet though. I must admit. Especially if they're cold or, or the temperature outside is cold, you might struggle to. You might have a little bit, bit of slippage now and then, but uh, not really an issue normally. Right, we're going up right down the outside. We're going to go left up here, so we're just going all the way down the outside of the traffic, and we're squeezing up here, hello sir. We're squeezing up here, just in front of this van. Dead easy. I mean, you look at that. You know, we, we just kept rolling. It's perfect. So. I know you can do that on most bikes, but I'm just sort of, you know, it's a 765cc bike, it's in sport mode. So it's a, it's a fairly nippy bike, this. If you haven't rode one, then, you know, get, get out and you'll see. It's, it's, it's a sports naked, you know. Uh, and it's got some poke, this bike. I know once the revs get up, they're a bit higher, but just goes to show you can ride this. You can, you can ride this like Miss Daisy <laughs> without any issues nice and easy or you can spank the ass off it and uh, <laughs> uh, yeah give it the beads whatever well you know on the on the right roads of course but like I said earlier on the, at the beginning of the video I, w I would if you've got like motorway miles to do and uh, you know you, you're going to be sitting at 70 mile an hour and that plus you and it's windy uh, and you've got all that against you then yeah maybe it's not the bike for you for for commuting or a daily rider because obviously you've got no protection you probably get a screen for this as well get one of these screens to go up there and sort of push some of the, that wind over your helmet um, but yeah be cheeky and go down here <laughs> there you go beautiful but yeah like I say if you if you if you look at it uh, like loads of motorway mileage and that, you, you might want to think again. You might want to something with a bit of fair and you, you know, just to deflect that wind off you. Got a dual carriageway coming up soon, so uh, you, you know you'll see then. You do get a lot of wind, a wind, lot of wind blast. You probably pick a lot of that up through the through the camera mic, but we'll go up to 60 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour, and, and uh, yeah, but. Don't, you mustn't be put off by that. If you're only doing like trips uh, with a bit of that involved, then you'd probably be absolutely fine. I always get worried when I see a high vis. I think it's, uh, there's a lot of police about here. Not that I'm speeding, but <laughs> makes me a little bit on edge. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I honestly can't grumble. Uh, the cost of the servicing. Uh, uh, I've not even had to adjust the chain on this as well, which is unusual. I think it's an O-ring type chain on the bike as well. I do all the chain, but I've not had to physically adjust it myself, and uh, that, which is quite unusual. I've done 2,000 mile, and I do give it the, uh, you know, give the bike speed camera there. I do give it the bike, give it the bike. I do give the bike a handful, and the chain doesn't seem to have stretched on. It's, it's the original chain and sprocket as well, so. No issues at all. It's love, sounds lovely as well. Close this visor down. Sounds lovely as well when you open her up. It really does. And like I say, the suspension, the settings of that. I'm probably, I'm probably running on about. I've probably already spoken about it, but you're riding on the pavement. <laughs> um, but yeah, service costs. I. I it's not an expensive bike to keep to service. Not quite sure on when the valve clearances are are uh, required on the service, but I don't think I think it's when the mile, you know, with the quite when the miles is quite high up there. So 
not an issue really but we'll squeeze through here so that's sort of 65 70 mile an hour there and uh, yeah I'm getting blast I'm getting a lot of wind blast there I mean, it is a fairly windy day today as well but this is generally wind from uh, you know but yeah can't really grumble too much <laughs> she's got some grunt <laughs> she's got some grunt this bike uh, yeah, if you want more power, then go for the uh, the the speed triple. I mean, that's something else. That uh, there is a video on the channel of that actually. If you fancy a look, I'll go out and give it the beans. But yeah, uh, right, okay. Ease it down. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me on this video. And uh, yeah, like I say, if you interested in anything bike related you consider hitting that subscribe button plenty more chat uh, videos coming to the channel mainly bike reviews um, and yeah thanks for joining me today hopefully i'll catch you on the next video so take care see you soon